So today's tutorial is a pretty special one. Um, we're going to create an animation like this. Uh, so we're basically using an effector to trigger the animation on these cloners. And this is actually quite easy to do. It's just that the options are pretty well hidden. So I'm just going to get started. Uh, I'm going to create a cube. And I'm just going to make this editable. I'm going to make sure that uh, point animation is checked. And I'm just going to go to point mode. And I'm going to choose a rectangle selection. And I'm going to select these top uh, vertices. So I'm just going to add a keyframe. And then on frame 15, I'm just going to use scale to kind of reduce these slightly. Add a keyframe here. Uh, 25, I'm just going to move it down like this. Add a keyframe. And then I'm going to scale it up and maybe even rotate it like something like this. Whoops, I just missed that. Scale it up slightly, add a keyframe here. And frame 45, I might just pick this individual point here and um, kind of play with these points maybe. Do something like this. So I'm just gonna add a keyframe. So we have this kind of pretty strange uh, point animation, probably wondering what the hell it is, but uh, I'm going to show you how to trigger that animation using an effector. So I'm just going to hit Alt G to group this uh, cube. So it's holding all our animation. I'm going to go to MoGraph Cloner. I'm going to drop that null into the cloner. I'm going to click on Cloner and go to uh, Grid Array. Make the Y count 1. Make the X and Z count 8 maybe and 2200 should spread them out okay so let's play this back so right now the animation is um, just playing back automatically as soon as we hit play the animation begins um, what I want to do is I want to use an effector and when the effector touches these cloners from uh, left to right I want the animation to kind of load as the effector moves from left to right so to achieve that, I'm just going to click on Cloner. I'm going to go to Effector and I'm going to choose Plane. I'm going to get rid of Position. Uh, fall Off, I'm going to choose Linear. Make sure it's facing the right way. Looks about right. And I'm going to move this here. And at uh, frame 10, I'm going to place a Position keyframe. Click on Z and go to maybe frame 80, move it over here and click the keyframe. So we have this animation. So if I play this back, uh, basically the MoGraph cloner objects just completely ignoring this effector and the animation is just going ahead. So to stop this animation on the cloner, I'm gonna click on cloner, uh, go to transform and we have this hidden option down here. It says animation mode play. We wanna make that fixed. So I'm going to play this back now, and that's great, the animation stopped, nothing's playing, but um, the effector is also having no influence on these cloners. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to look at the duration of this uh, animation we created, it's 45 frames. So I'm going to go to my plane effector, and set the time offset to 45. And let's see what happens when we play this back now. Oh, so the animation is playing pretty fast, so I'm just going to inc uh, increase the fall off, but it's actually working, so I'm just going to increase the range of this animation, make it 200 frames, and drag that end keyframe on the effector to 180 maybe, just so we see that animation a bit more gradually. I'm just going to hide the plane effector from the viewport, because we know where it is anyway just so we can see these objects react. And I'm just going to increase the scale of that effector maybe. Now another thing we can do is, I'm going to click on cloner, go to effectors and our plane effectors there. Uh, we can call this trigger. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a random effector 
and I'm just going to make sure it's before the trigger effector and this random effector I'm not going to use position I'm going to go to um, where is it a parameter and I'm going to increase weight transform so basically what we're going to get is randomization so now we get that uh, same animation but everything's kind of playing at different speeds now which is pretty cool and you can decrease uh, the strength by going to effector and just reducing the strength slightly to make it kind of less random a bit more linear about there maybe and just one last point is that um, you can do this with anything so you can actually create an entire kind of animation inside this null uh, maybe like a box kind of folding up and it's still gonna work which is the beauty of it uh, there's amazing possibilities you can make like I don't know flowers growing or um, kind of boxes opening up uh, but this is just to show you the overall technique here so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial uh, if you found this useful, please share it and thanks for watching.